Irielixo here, and today we're playing a brand new game for you, but not for me. This game is called Slight Rising, and I absolutely love this game. As you can probably tell, it's involved with these dragons. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely adore dragons. It's part of my YouTube um, channel, I think, where it says Pokemon, Dragons, and more. Wait, no, no, no. Warrior Cats, Dragons, and more. Sorry, I always get those two mixed up. Anyways, um, um, since I'm not absolutely starting out fresh, which I am terribly sorry about, um, I started this game, um, before I even th thought of making a YouTube channel. Um, so I couldn't really just make a new account and stuff. Um, so you're gonna have to, I, th I made this, um, uh, I made this account not, not, not long ago, um, but still. So, I've got a bit of money, a few gems, um, by money I mean treasure, uh, one familiar, uh, and ten dragons. Most of uh, all, all of these dragons, except the first two, Ryak and Maya, are not mine. Well, they are mine. They, but they've been given as presents for me from my friends, the Sky Girl Five Six Four Three and Golden Wishes. Um. So yeah, I hope you guys like them. I'm gonna just quickly go over them. So this is Ryak, the king, basically, of my clan. Um, and his familiar is this guy. He looks pretty sick. I won him from the oh, I is from the Thundercrack festival. Um, each year there are festivals for all of the different eleven flights. So this guy is called the Sparkling Goblin. He's a familiar. The eyes of the Stormcrack. 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 Oh my god, those tongue-twisting skills. The storm catcher. Sorry, guys. Um, it's from the Thunder Thundercrack Carnival. Yes, 2016 holiday familiar. So that's pretty cool. Now, before you guys ask me, why, what's to do with the flights? So flights basically are things in, um, Flight Rising. Um... What you do there, uh, so basically the flights, um, like, they are the past personality of your dragons. I chose the shadow flight, which is this, of course, shadow. Um, if we go into dominance, you'll be able to see all the different flights. Um, so there are 11 flights. These clans do not count. They're just a rival clan for all of the clans. Basically, all of the clans are rivals, but the Beast Clan is the rival of every single clan. It's just um, an extra in the game. You cannot be part of the Beast Clan. So this is Shadow right here at the bottom. Um, we have Wind, Arcane, Fire, Water, Lightning, Plague, Ice, Nature, Earth, and Light. So those are the 11 different um, flights, and I'm of course in the shadow flight. Um, different flights give you different personalities for your dragon. So the shadow, the shadow flight, is pranksters and tricksters and all of that good stuff. Um, and it also changes the eye color of your dragons. So. I'm gonna quickly go onto my dragons, Raik and Maya. I'm gonna go on Maya because she's lighter colored. So as you see, Maya Maya's eyes are dark purple, a deep dark purple. If we go on Tuxedo, his eyes are pink. Since Sky Girl Five Six Five Six Four Three was arcane, her eye color is pink. Her dragon's eye color is pink. Now let's have a look. At different dragons that possibly are not arcane, which I believe all of them are arcane except for Utor. Okay, 
So Utor right here, he's the mirror, has these light neon blue eyes. That's because he's from the lightning flight. You can tell it, what what flight they are because right ab right below because right below them there's a little like there's a symbol right here. That's the shadow symbol represent make uh, so it tells the other people that this is a shadow dragon. Then we have the arcane symbol and the lightning, so on so on. So I wanted to make up for you guys. Since we're not exactly starting out fresh and new, we have seven babies to hatch. Rag and Maya, Teresh and Nivel, and Utor and Winter Rose. We need to hatch every single one of them. And if you guys want one of the babies, just message me, add me as a friend. You you can do anything. So, before we do any of that, I'm just going to check if we've gathered any items. No, we have not. Well then, we're going to get, um, we're going to get plant gathering. So we're going to gather plants. Ah, there you go, the Thundercrack Carnival. Um, to be able to, so, before I do any of this, I want to show you guys. So if you go on to Festive Favors, you see this, when a carnival or a festival is happening, it says right under the Flight Rising name, or logo. If you click on Festive Favors, you can see what's for sale on that time. So for 33, what is this? 33 charged sprockets, I bought um, this Sparkling Goblin Familiar. For 50, you can get a Vista Thundercrack Carnival. And you can get a surge stream coat and some apparel. Now I only have 13. And the way to get these um, charge sprockets, yes, um, you need to go to gather items. And as you see, I gathered once already, so I have 15 by accident. But as you see, it's a shadow right here. We need to click on that and change it to lightning. Now with Forage, we get a chance to getting these um, charged sprockets. We keep on repeating, we keep on getting them. Usually. We don't always get so lucky and get them. But sometimes we do. So I'm gonna just collect some uh, plants and food for my beloved dragons. Now I've done that, we can have a look at the festive favors, and let's have a look how much we've got now. Now we've got 35 exactly charged sprockets. That's exactly enough for another charged, um, not a sparkling goblin, sorry. But I'm not going to buy another one because I already have one, and why do I need to buy another one? I'm just going to quickly convert these plants to food so I can feed my dragons. Hungry dragons don't, are not happy yes now we're just gonna feed my dragons and there we go they're all fed now we can finally get to the good part let's have a look how much is paid one two three four five that does not look like enough space for seven babies but if you don't like a baby we can easily just sell it all right I'll be right back, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I just needed to make a room renovation. Um, I needed to move rooms because my grandma came back from work. And she always makes a lot of noise. So, where we left off. Let's, um... Oh, by the way, if I sound really... If it sounds like there's a lot of echoes of my voice, um, that means because I'm in my living room right now, and it echoes a lot in here. So, uh, we're going to hatch the first bunch. Ryak and Maya. They're not going to have the best babies, because if you've played Flight Rising before, or if you've seen Jaylee play Flight Rising before, then you probably know why. Because they're both Star Dragons, and they're both basic genes. 
Why did I get a blue-eyed baby? Am I colorblind? That's the question. That's the question. Am I colorblind? These babies are pretty cute. Okay, I'm not colorblind. This is purple eyes. I was just stupid. But that's okay. So this baby looks pretty sick. I actually like this baby. And who's this baby? This is a pretty... Pretty nice baby too. Both girls. That's that's pretty nice. Um, name name. So both girls. Okay. Um. Um. Maria. It sounds like Mario. Maria. Yeah, why not? It. Her name will be Moria. Um, for those that don't know how to spell her name. And this girl will be named... Mm. Maste. Um, I don't know why I like picking my own names. Maste is not even a real word name or word. But I still picked it because I like it. Alrighty. Um, we're going to hatch the second bunch. Which is Terish. And Nivel. Alright, let's see what we got out of them. Two babies. Billy Flop! Yeah, achievement unlocked. And these babies are pretty sick. I love them. They both got the Billy Flop. Um, belly, the uh, underbelly jean, which is pretty cool. This baby looks amazing, and so does this one. They're basically the same colors, only different dragons. This one is a little bit neon on the on the horns and the claws and overall. Um and he's more swamp. He's a crocodile and the other one is an avocado crystal kind of. And I really like them to be honest. They're pretty cool. And they've got a ice underbelly. Is the other one no he's an orca but that's pretty close. That's pretty cool. But sadly, we need to give away a baby or two. N two babies. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Can we expand? Do I have enough? What am I talking about? Of course I have enough. What am I talking about? We're gonna expand. Yay, we expanded and we have the second page unlocked. Yes. Pretty nice, pretty sick. Um, so, without further ado, I'm not gonna name those babies, because why not? Um, the last, last but not least, these babies. Utor and Winter Rose. Let's do it. The purple baby is sick. The purple baby is sick. Where is the purple baby? The purple baby is amazing. I wish the wings were a different color. But the smoke, the smoke gene is my favorite tertiary gene. If you guys did not know, of course you didn't know. You know nothing about me. I literally just started. This is my second episode. My second video overall. So this guy is adorable. This guy is something. And this guy is something. Though he looks pretty nicer than his sister. So we've got all mirrors. Um... All mirrors, that's pretty upsetting. I was hoping I'd get a coral baby. These dragons are coral, corals, by the way. Latest, windrows, total, and all that stuff. They're all corals. Um, so, without naming them, I want to arrange them. So, I'm putting females first. I'm not a feminist, guys. I am not a feminist. Um, so I'm, I, I don't know why, I'm just putting the females first. So, um, they're each going with their own species. Um, right there. Um, yeah, like I said before, I'm not a feminist. I do not care the different, um, about the differences between male and female. But then again, I like...
can I move you? Um, so, if you guys think I'm a feminist, you're totally wrong, guys. I am not. I'm fresh doodles. Fresh from the underworld. Can I move you? Next page. There we go. Let's check. Yes, we've got all... Everything's fine. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know guys. Something's fishy going on here. Yeah. Uh should we do a renovation? Okay, we're gonna do this. The most common species of dragons go first. So I'm just gonna move back the two siblings. And the um, the rest of the dragons just like basically the side dragons go first and the other dragons just go go last so we've got guardians uh tundras mirrors codals uh nocturnes and then we've got the dragons i forgot the name of so we're gonna name the unnamed um, I don't know about this baby. I don't really like this baby. And with that, I'm going to try putting her up for auction. Or no, no, no. We're going to put her to good use. We're going to name her. Yes, it's a her. Yes. Um. Manga. 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 Her name is going to be Manga. Don't ask why. Uh, and we're gonna exalt her. Yes. It's not as much money as auctioning, but it's good enough. I like exalting better. And we're gonna... We're gonna sell this guy. His name is gonna be... Ray. I don't know why. But his name is gonna be Ray, and we're gonna exalt him. I like naming the babies before I get rid of them. It's so uh, because it's it's just the family tree looks neater to me. I don't know why. Uh, now this guy, I like him and I'll be keeping him. Um, what? Ocean cookie. What did I use that one for? Don't know. But his name is going to be Omar. Um, oh god, the hiccups. Yeah, but he's the um, Omar. Now we're going to name these babies. So this guy could be called... Sargon. Wait. Sargon, there we go. His name is gonna be Sargon. Um the T is silent. Um like tsunami. Um and this girl will be named uh Mari Mari Hatu. Her name is gonna be Mari Hatu. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Again, um, people are just walking around. This will be, if I go quiet sometimes, it's because I, like, don't want to disturb the people around. So, yes. Um, now, no more babies. Okay, no more babies um, here. These are all my dragons now. Pretty awesome, pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, they're all fed. Everyone's doing great, guys. Um, how's my timer going? The uh, 14 minutes left. Um, what shall we do? Oh, let's go through all of my dragons. Uh, because I remember starting to do that, but never actually getting to finish it. So this is Maria. Um, of course you guys already know. This is Ryak, the king, as I already said. 
This is Maya, the queen, the maid of Ryak. Um, this is Mastai. You already know her. She's the baby. And they left. Okay. And this is Tuxedo. Um, he just looks like wearing a tuxedo to me, to be honest. Um, Utor, which is the father of the one and only mirror baby dragon. Yes, Utor. This is Omar, the son of Utor. And that was my cat in the background. Don't know if you heard it, but I certainly did. Um, this is Bloody Mary. She looks pretty bloody with the red smoke. This is Winter Rose. Pretty sweet, in my opinion. This is Latus, I believe the father of Bloody Mary. Am I, I am right? Yes, yes, yes. This is Neville. Um, the mother of Sargon and Marihatu. This is Sargon. Literally, I just said that. Mari Hatu, you already know her. Naso, pretty nice dragon. Teresh, um, now I believe I did not put any information on him. Amazing. And that was all my dragons. All of my beautiful dragons um, met up close. And now, before doing anything else, okay, warning, some of Blight's Rising Fairground games use a flash and or moving graphical elements. We recommend if you are susceptible to seizures that you take great care or avoid playing them. If you feel that you are experiencing symptoms of a seizure, immediately stop playing and consult a doctor. Okay, I'm gonna keep that warning so that I remember to tell you guys when I'm playing the Coliseum. Um, that hopefully, guys, you don't get anything bad done to you. And to actually remember myself, I don't get seizures. Um, but still, it's good to know when you're having a seizure and when you're not. So, where are you? There you go. My uh, deputy guard. Um, chief guard, sorry, and my deputy guard. Yes. And uh, yes. Monster battle. Uh, the training field. Yes, we're gonna train some some the king and his gods. And a dark spare mouse. Um. Let's fight him, of course, that's what the game is supposed to be about. And he needs to meditate, I think. That's called meditation. Yes, meditate. And we just kill him. Um, he's a little bit flying. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Why is he not dead? Now he's dead for some reason. Victory! We're gonna keep on fighting. Uh, for the last 10 minutes, I believe, well, or until we get down to our health. Emerald Webwing. That's actually a pretty cool dragon. Uh, dragon? Oh my god, did I seriously call this bird a dragon? Oh my goodness god. I can't believe I called him a dragon. That's super stupid of me. And I will never do that ever again because who wants to do that? Really, who does? Yes, we got a charge sprocket. How many? Just one by the looks of it. Just one. The benefit, um, if you don't know guys, the benefit from the Colosseums is of course you gain levels. As you see, all of my dragons are level one. But not only that, when you win the battle, you get food and other items. Um, sometimes, um, a familiar, which is really rare. I believe you get a familiar. I'm not sure. I I would think you get a familiar. But yeah. 
I'm just gonna kill this leafy mob. Alright, what can we talk about, guys? What can we talk about? If you, oh, I know, if you've played this game, if you've actually played this game before, um, tell me what type of breed of, or species of dragon is your favorite. Um, the corals are pretty nice. I really like them, but I'm also a fan of the guardians. The guardians are pretty nice. I do have a soft spot for them. Uh, also the phase as well. I do not have a phase right now. Uh, but that's pretty okay. That's okay. That's okay. I don't need to have a phase right now. I could probably buy a phase or a different dragon in the next episode. And whoa, whoa, no, latest died. What? That's unforgivable. Both of you teamed up on Latus. Look at his dead body. He's dead. That's totally terrible. On, on, on your side. No dragon killing. Only we kill you. I swear to God, if you kill one of my other buddies, I will kill you. Oh, and the... Um, the other benefit of fighting in the Coliseum, you can actually fight against other clans. Uh, yeah, you can fight against other clans in a like, rated match. But you need to wait a long time for actually be able to get an opponent. Which really, really sucks. We got like... Six, uh, 6 minutes and 30 seconds left and if you hear guys stuff in the background it's because some people are in the kitchen and the, and the living room is right next to the kitchen and some of my friends are online why did I do that alright I guess we're not gonna do that for another time because we can't what else can we do? Let's have a look. Ah, of course, the trading post. How could I forget about the trading post? Let's go to Pinkerton's plunder pile. Yes, pretty interesting thing. Now we got copper ore. Amazing, amazing. Now let's go bubbling, bubbling brew. We're gonna transmute objects. We're gonna transmute the copper ore that we got because we don't really need it, I believe. Transmute that thing. 30 minutes. Alright, we got like 5 minutes left. And what just happened? Ah, the trivia. Alright, so let's do a trivia, guys. So, Scribbles, you should have warned me we have guests. My apologies and welcome. Do you have a moment for me to pick your brain? I have an ongoing project to etch the various facts. I have picked up on my travels into stone every time I return. I know it will come to me eventually, but perhaps you could expedite the process. I can reward you for the knowledge. Of course. Somebody's probably gonna get some trivia. Is it Scribbles? Oh my God, Scribbles looks cute as hell. And what is? Ah, it's a snapper dragon. I've seen the, the that dragon before. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna do the ten quests. Which of the following is a secondary gene? Secondary gene is the wings. Arcanist is a uh, not that. Stripes. Yes, stripes. So we get three hundred treasure from that. Um. Ah, there's a different text now. Scribbles, write it down. Are you drawing butterflies? I do not see how this is relevant to the question at hand. The answer. Write down the answer. Hmm. Moving on, I have another bit of information. I'm having difficulty recalling. Could you answer the following? A Skylancer's day consists of... Jesus, I don't know. Um, plants and insects. Yes, I, uh, my guess is amazing. 
Alright, I'm not gonna read everything everything they say. Uh which deity created Imperial in, Imperials? I don't know, the Ice Warden? No, it's a light weaver. I never knew they came for the light flight. Well we learn something new every day, kids. Um which species has been an ally to dragons for years beyond counting? Um Dryads? No, it's a done proof centaurs. Well the rest of the quizzes I'm gonna do without talking. Um but I just wanna tell you guys something. So I know I've just did two videos slash episodes, but tomorrow I'm leaving the country for the holiday and going to Lithuania. That's my home country. If you didn't know by the accent um tomorrow in the afternoon so if i'm lucky and i have spare time on my hands i can do another 25 minute episode um of possibly flight rising since i want to do that a daily thing um hopefully guys you like this um so yeah uh which of the way is not a food item Topaz, guppy never mind um, Rinsos of the Arcanist, turn, no, it's rain, sorry guys, um, sorry guys, I'm just doing this randomly, I just want to get through the quizzes, even when I'm answering them wrong, December, I got that right, um, never, no, it's mirror, okay, <coughs> Scribbles, did you get all that? Is that origami? It's beautiful. But I don't think that's what we need at this time. <sighs> well, I suppose you'll have to do. Perhaps you can stop by tomorrow and we'll verify these in these these one more time. Of course, whatever you say. So we got literally a minute left. I might as well end the episode here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Flight Rising, and I hopefully I made up for the not fresh start thing with the seven newborn babies. If you like one of them, um, I'm willing to give them away. Not because I don't like them, it's because, you know, I, I'm gonna help. If they're, if you're new, if you're new, I'll give them for free. If you're not new, then of course you'll have cash in your hands and I'll be able to give you but guys a terrible thing I forgot to tell you guys is that the community update is going to be uh, everything's cool right July 22nd I'm pretty sure it's the July 27th so the registration window is closed it's sometimes open which I was which I actually joined. Um, I'm gonna have a look at the, my profile. All right, and that's time up. But I'm, I joined on the 20th, so that's two days before um, any of this actually um, ended. So as you see, um, these are all my friends so far. I've got Jalu. Taxi Prelin and Wookie123. They're all my friends. Um, and I'm still waiting for the request from my other friends, which I'm waiting. But you guys can happily add me if you're if you did not. And for those who are new, well probably not because you know the registration window ended. But I'm gonna notify you guys when the registration window is open uh, because I want everybody to join the server. Um, and I want to help others. So, um, this is my kind of information. Of course, you know. yeah. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Flight Rising. I'll do more tomorrow if I have time, or possibly Pokemon Planet, or the other game that I have, which is a secret until I actually do it. So I won't be able to make videos until September the 15th, I believe. 
Um, that's when I got back. Oops, sorry. Uh, and yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below what your favorite species of dragon is or breed. I am in a fight between the three dragons. Four. Bay, Cuddle, Guardian, and Nerd. So.